This week on the Weekly K-Pop Wrap-Up, we're going over 17, Rosé and Bruno Mars, Itzy, and App 6. I know it's a week late, but I really wanted to watch it. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Landon and we are here again today for another weekly K-pop wrap up where we go over some new K-pop in the ether and this week we have four new songs we will be listening to. I am tired and sore. Yesterday I had my first hockey game that I had to work, not play, don't worry. But um, I overslept. I slept through my alarm this morning and that's very unlike me. So <laughs> I like got a bit of frantic haze this morning. I was like, all right, let's get going. So if I look like I'm just waking up, bestie. It's because it's true. <laughs> but I've been excited all week to listen to these songs, so I'm ready to get into them. Let's start with the one that I've been seeing all of my recommended page and haven't been able to click, okay? We have freaking 17 Love Money Fame featuring DJ Khaled? The frick? <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Let's go. This is 17, everybody. We the best music. We the best music. Stop it. Another one. Hey. So he produced it? Oh, sorry. Hold up, hold up. Why are my subtitles not in English? Okay, it car. There's a, mama, there's a rapper behind you. Not the tape player. Hey, I like this. This is fun. This is radio. I'm under this interpass, it just feels like such the south. <laughs> I know it's not, but. Reporters, I'm trying to make it through a destructed area. Do you mind? I'm liking every single one of these sets. It feels so high budget also. Oh, don't look at me like that. Another one. <laughs> I can't stop it. Like I'm singing it already. It's, it's catchy. That was a little sassy. <laughs> I kind of like it. 17. Stop with the DJ Khaled. Another one. What? How and when, where, and why? I don't care. I liked it. It's not the collaboration I thought I was ever going to see. But right now, be honest with you, I want another one. Love, money, fame. So it's not how I thought the song was going to sound. I thought it was going to be a lot more like, love, money, fame. You know what I mean? It's giving very much love, money, party by Miley Cyrus. Was, was that the song went? I don't know. That's what I was imagining in my head, especially when I saw DJ Khaled attached to it. But I like that. I really did. That was very catchy. That sounds radio friendly, ready to be bopped and make it to the top of the charts. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that one? I really, really still need to do a deep dive into 17. I really am going to get on that because there were some people in there. I was like, I want to know a little bit more about you. And not in a weird kind of way, but like a, you just seem so interesting and talented, man. But 
Hats off. Good job, Boys of 17. And I'm loving that they had this collaboration with DJ Khaled. Like I said, didn't expect it, but I liked it. I did. The video was so fun. The song, so catchy. All right. The next one we're going on to today is Rose featuring Bruno Mars have a song out called Apt. And we're just making the rounds through the Blackpink solo works right now. Not mad at it. I'm liking getting content from them. This one is called Apt. And it came out today. I didn't even know it was coming out. But I did see a TikTok right when I woke up this morning, two minutes ago, of Rose with Bruno Mars. And Bruno Mars was passed out in the thing. So I'm like, what's this going to be about? This is Apt. But like seeing them together is so fun. Rock? Is it like apartment? Ah, pate, pate. Oh, this is a dick dig, man. Ah, pate, pate. <laughs> Wait, why do I ship them? I still don't know what it means, but I love it. Okay. I don't know, no, no. Ah! The Rockstar era? How did this happen? I'm not bad at it. This is so much fun. <laughs> ah, put it, put it. 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 What? Okay, why do I love them together? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that I'm not supposed to like ship anybody like this, but like, damn. So the Blackpink girls have been going through a lot of their solo works lately. We had Lisa, Jenny, and now Rose. I think this might be my favorite for some reason. I don't know. It felt very punk rock. It felt very like late 90s, early 2000s. And I feel like anytime Bruno Mars puts his hands on a period piece, he takes you back to that time. And not saying that it was him. You know what I mean? But I did not expect Rockstar to come out here and start jamming on the drums and guitar ah pate pate what are they saying apartment is that what that means bruno in here too like uh, don't be mad at me for saying this i told y'all i just woke up so i'm still dreaming a little but i'm dreaming that they're in love <laughs> they make a cute little couple i don't know the ages and stuff so shut up but like it was so much fun to see it made me happy on the inside and i feel like they could play it on the radio here and everybody would just eat it up ah, pate, pate. and then like anything bruno mars touches turns to gold honestly good job rose and bruno that was so good ah, pate, ah, pate. Ah, pate. Ah, pate, pate. I, need, I need to know what it means. And like, okay, I keep saying Rosé here too. And then I heard an interview a while back of um, one of the members saying Rosie. I said if that was a pet name, but then she has a new album out called Rosie. So I've been saying it wrong. I'm sorry, Rosie. I just don't want to say Rosie if that's like more of like a friend thing. You know, I don't want to be like imposed. Anyway, all right. The next song we're going over today is Itzy. They have a new song out called Gold. This is going to be exciting. 
It's a... Another rock song? Oh. Damn. Yeah. It's a... It's a... Oh. Oh, I like this production too. Okay, choir. The flow. Oh, 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 oh. The production of this is up by Alley, y'all know. Hey. Oh, oh, damn! What you wanna do, what you wanna do to the me I'm making Yeah Diamond in my heart, got but did you still what's the deal? Always in my head, you are repeat, I'm a fake song, I hit you down Yo, I'm addicted, I'm addicted. <laughs> Y'all Itsy uh. It's given like Timbaland with the production And I cannot Handle it y'all Bro Yes. Just like that. It's a. I gotta talk to you girls. Oh, just fucking kidding. I guess you don't want to talk right now, and I'm okay with that. Um, what the fuck? Y'all know I've listened to a lot of Itzy here, and I'm I do love me some Itzy every now and then. They have some bops every now and then. I'm like, okay, not my song. And honestly, I saw the light up this week. I'm like Bruno Mars, DJ Khaled, all these like crazy features. They're obviously gonna be my favorites. And when I added Itzy to the list, I'm like, I'm excited to see what it is. And like, I hate to say, don't don't be mad at me for saying it like this, but like the last couple times I've gone over Itzy songs, like they've been great. Don't get me wrong, but they haven't made me feel like this. They have not made me feel like this. That production was in. Sane. Y'all know that's exactly what I ask for every single time. Keep me on my toes. Never let me know where you're going to go. They started out with rock and then the snare started hitting. I was like, okay, rap. Okay, come through. And then the go, boom, 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 boom. The big, big, big chorus followed with that. Just like that. And what is there's one part too that's going to be a new vocal stem for me? Air everywhere. Gold in the air. Gold everywhere. Gold in the air. Gold everywhere. Y'all, I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I'm not gonna lie. Like, please don't get it twisted. When I had to line up today, I just didn't expect Itzy to come out swinging like this. I got knocked the fuck out. I am obsessed, okay? I am sorry. I think it's my favorite song this week. I really didn't think anything was gonna beat the Rose Bruno Mars one right now because that one was my favorite. And then 17 was also so good and catchy. But y'all, it's a good fucking week for K-pop. Hello, hello. And speaking of week, we're gonna go back last week because I saw a little TikTok of this dude that was on stage and he was I was like okay thank you guys all for coming let's get naked i mean in the in the sense that <laughs> essentially um no and i 
cried. I cried from happiness and tears when I watched that clip. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's get naked. Like, I, I mean in a, uh, a good way. A good way, you know. Like, uh, a poetic point. And then I was just scrolling through looking for songs today and I saw Ab Six is naked here and I'm like realizing it was for a song. It was for a song. So even though this came out eight days ago, I want to go over it. Okay, get out my way. Okay, good night everybody. Let's get naked. I don't even know which member it was that said it either. Can they say this? What? By nature, we are naked. <gasps> Sassy. Let's get naked, baby. I like his voice, rapper boy. Mm, mm. Slow it down. Okay, don't be rushing. Peer pressure now. Let's get naked. Okay, okay. It was a fun song, not my favorite that I've heard this week, but I'm so, so shocked they can say the naked. I like the way the dude was rapping in there too. That was really good. I liked his rapping voice. But then can they just tell everybody let's get naked? And I see where that little fun um, little interview uh, interview microphone slip up thing come from. Everybody, let's get naked. Yeah, they say it in the song. <laughs> but in the sense of like, in the sense that, you know, let's get naked, baby. Good job, boys. That was fun. The video was really cute. And the dance moves in there, I liked a little zesty. Uh, uh, okay, I see you. I saw you. I saw it. Well, all right everybody that does it for the weekly k-pop wrap-up we had a really really good week this week starting with app six since we went over them most recently i loved where it all came from i thought it was a good song i enjoyed the music video a lot too their outfits were slaying and i like the little choreography in there we're gonna go down to 17 with dj khaled i thought that was such a fun collaboration it was so much fun the sets of that one were actually insane they got budget they got that money up and the song was really fun and catchy it could be on the radio speaking of really catchy it could be on the radio Rose and Bruno Mars. Is that going to be on the radio here in America? Because it could be, honestly. Anything that Bruno Mars touches his hands on, people love here, honestly, too. So I'm really hoping for success because that was a very, very catchy song. And we went in a direction that I did not expect a Blackpink member to go in. Good job. And then lastly, oh, my favorite of the week. My favorite of the week, sisters. Hello, Itzy. Itzy. What are you doing, Itzy? Gold by Itzy shocked me. It wins the gold medal today for me. The production of that was insane. It brought me back to this Timberland era obsession that I used 
movies to have just all the little different beat changes all the different moments of suspense and just like you never know what's coming next and i say that on my channel every single time that's what i love in a song so which one was your favorite let me know in the comments down below while you're down there make sure you click like and subscribe and i'll be back next week with another weekly wrap up so you don't want to miss that i love you and i'll be back soon until then peace I'd love to know them by name. So.